anyone who is leaking it is leaking it for money. Uddannelse er forudsætningen for et godt job. Men at komme gennem nåleøjet kan kræve mere end talent og flyd. Korruption på alle niveauer i skolesystemet kan påvirke den enkelte elevs muligheder. Now we have a free education, which is the public schools. Your school fees is free. You just have to buy some of the books, but not all. And the government also gives some. But sometimes these teachers will be hiding the books or they have these small, small shops and they will take the, those uh, books into their own shops, especially the headmasters, and they will resell it to the student. So the parents are actually paying twice for the same book because they already paid tax. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Det har ikke været muligt at finde elever, forældre, lærere eller skoleledere i grundskole og gymnasium, som vil medvirke direkte i filmen. Deres historier genfortælles i stedet af repræsentanter for antikorruptionsorganisationer. På en grundskole i et velstående kvarter kom skolelederen under pres fra forældre, som ville have organiseret snyd til afgangseksamen. What they had realized was other schools were paying money to exam invigilators, so that during the exams they would help coach the students if they saw that you were not doing too well, etc. Or they would allow students to pass their papers around. For someone who felt that their parents would be more interested in ensuring that their children had the right morals, ethics, the standards would be people who would go out with integrity, it never once occurred to her that. PTA members, Parent Teacher Association members, especially some of the executives would ever have asked her this. En meget omtalt sag er lækage af eksamenspapirer fra West African Examinations Council. En landstækkende eksamen, der svarer til studentereksamen i Danmark. Parents have an interest. Somebody must be paying for these papers. And that must be influencing somebody who is involved in the machinery to protect and provide these papers. Uh, the person is thinking, I can make some more money rather than keeping it secure. My paper was taken by an invigilator to another um, um, candidate who was also writing to copy my answers and th that was what you happened. You think that invigilator had been paid to do that? Yes! I was to help other students? Do that. Yes. So he's been paid by the student or maybe the parents of the student to, to do such a thing. People think that systems are not working. They think that you can't depend on the system. They think that, well, we can't trust the system. We can't be sure that it's going to give us equal opportunities. And therefore, let's find our own ways and means of getting the results that we think are right. Adgang til videre uddannelse kan kræve mere end et godt snit. Thelma Togo er antikorruptionsambassadør. Hun er udvalgt til at støtte unge, der er ofre for korruption og vil forblive anonyme. So this lady went to the principal, the vice principal, that she wants to get enrollment into the college. But then the problem is her result has been withheld. She's having everything. It's only the mathematics. But then the vice principal told the lady that she has to give him something before she can also be of help, since the results delayed in coming and then the application has been closed. He pointed out a hotel that he can meet. Uh -huh. In that case, he will have sex with the lady and then be able to give him the uh, give her the admission. Forbindelser kan være et stærkere adgangskort end karaktersnit. There is something we call protocol, the protocol list, where they want to consider the children of the ministers, the children of the politicians, the children of the opinion makers in the society. And those people, even their children, if they don't qualify, they will get the place. And your child who has the right qualification may not get it. 
some um, headmasters of some uh, secondary schools, they have insisted that the selection they have made is the genuine selection. So they won't take any protocol list or favors. And I know it hasn't been easy. Sometimes people get transferred, they get victimized. We hear so many stories. So now everybody's so scared, you see. And in a country where it is difficult to survive, it is so easy to get people to be corrupt because they have to depend on money for survival. And if you are giving them money, then you get anything. Korruption har store konsekvenser for elever, som bliver fravalgt på trods af deres evner. Men hvad kan man gøre for at forhindre det? Thinking through systems to make sure that these things don't happen, and that individuals who are found culpable are dealt with so radically that it sets the right precedent, so people don't want to even attend these things. We, we don't seem to be doing enough of that, honestly speaking. For samfundet kan konsekvensen være, at man ikke får udvalgt de mest talentfulde på en årgang. And in the end, these students go to the university, and you find that though they had a high grade from secondary school, they are not doing well at the university. So now people are asking, let's bring back the entrance examination. Let people come and write to prove that they have what it takes. Oh, fuck, damn